So I bought inch and a half flexible PVC water line. And that's what I have stretched out here. It came in a big coil. We've got a little sunshine today. I've stretched it out to kind of relax it. These come in 100 foot rolls. I have two rolls of, that I'm going to splice, bring it down to this uh, frost-free hydrant and plumb it into the building. Then I'll run my little bobcat out here and start to backfill this thing. I'm going to tunnel underneath this outside wall of my pit. We are really windy today. Hopefully this little fuzzy thing on this mic helps dampen some of that wind noise. But I got the upper end of this hooked into the shed. I'll show you that a little more. But I'm gonna lay this pipe down in here so I can get a length of what I need to the frost free. Now I have walked down through the bottom of this. I know those of you that work construction know it's a dangerous thing to walk down the middle of a tunnel, but this is pretty, pretty hard sidewalls. I need to get a length where I need to cut this, where the hydrant's gonna go. And I need a short section of this up in the, in the tank house. I'm going to use part of it for my fill supply line. So it's going to lay right about in there. That's where I need to go down and cut it off. And my last step is actually attaching the hydrant to my bottom fitting. All this is brass. I, I couldn't find a inch and a half brass nipple here. This is the right angle. It's gonna go kind of north direction. I'll get into that next summer. So that's stainless steel. But this, all this fitting material is brass that so withstands being underground. So oh, I think I'm going to put the handle and the spigot kind of facing north. The handle is going to go this direction. So I've got this kind of tied in place where I think it wants to be. So I'll show you up in the watershed, the plumbing that I did there, it was so close quarters, so there's no way I was going to be able to show the process. So I'll just go show you the results. 
So this is the bottom outlet, what I ended up doing. But I came out to a T, got a valve in it, then I go to a union, then I do a right angle and I go down through the floor, which goes into the pit. On the other side, I have a half inch clear plastic tube. This is gonna be my sight glass, so I can actually know what's in the tank. Otherwise, I didn't quite know how to do it. This goes up to the top, and going out the side, this is gonna be the west wall, inch and a half flexible PVC, and I ran it up to the top. And it's connected to a two inch pipe that goes clear through the wall. And I've got this cap here. This is where I'll actually hook my supply line. I have a gas powered pump that I'm gonna fill this with. Then that plumbs through the wall there. I've taken the adhesive and I sealed all that shut. This is gonna go up. So this is my inch and a half supply line. It comes up to the top of this tank runs into a T that fills the tank and I also have the half inch line that goes down the side that is my sight glass. So such as it is that's what I've put together. I'm not a plumber but hopefully it'll work. So before I go ahead and fill out the rest of this I want to actually go get a load of water put it in here and test all my joints before I start backfilling this. So this is where I have my inch and a half going underneath the wall of my well, my pit. So you can see this is where it comes down through the floor. I have one inch subfloor and I have two inches of insulation. And you can see where I go down and I hook into my PVC. That's what runs out the back underneath the wall. Thank you. 
Well, I've been hauling, oh, maybe four or five loads out. Can you show me my sight glass? I'm right here. See, I got about 1,800 gallons in, 3,000 gallon tank. I've got another 1,200. So this little sight glass, this sight glass really helps. Helps me see just where I'm at. Got 3,000 to fill. So I've got a 550 gallon tank. You never get the bottom 100 gallons out of it. So I'm hauling about 450 gallons at a time. And we're gonna get her done. I got another 1,200 to go. Well, this will probably settle a little bit, but as far as I'm going to go for this winter, come next spring, it may settle and I'll bring in some other fill. So I think we're kind of buttoned up on this. I've got some other dirt I need to move and I'll start putting in a shelter for these poor little guys. Anyway, thanks for following along. <laughs>